healthy recipes today. Fish tends to be a lighter, healthier option in cooking, and with the right recipe, it can also be really simple for summer gathering. So we're going to offer three recipes throughout the hour. Joining us now in our Stone Creek kitchen is Nathan Hirsch, the Arizona Metro chef for Whole Foods Markets. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you. It's good to be here. Did you relax a little, or did you have to work yesterday? I worked a little bit, but then I had some time with the family. Okay, good. So was Wasn't that weather just phenomenal. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I wish it rained more, so hopefully Well, I was okay for it to stop because I did want to salvage some outdoor things, but you know, whether it was raining or it was, you know, just the nice weather, this obviously would have been a great mm -hmm. recipe because it's easy, it's light, it's fresh, mm -hmm. and you can really serve it for a large group. So let's just jump right in and tell us what we're making and, well, well, and today, how to do it. Well, today what I, what I wanted to show you was basically a shrimp roll, okay. which is a play on a lobster roll. Lobster roll, and which so I've had in Maine. It was a about two years ago. So it's, it's, a, it's a little different. Um, it's a little healthier because okay. it's using shrimp instead of lobster. But the first thing that we're going to do is we have these local um, hot dog buns, and they're actually made out of challah. So I'm going to take some just extra virgin olive oil. And if you're you know, doing this on the grill, uh -huh. you, know, you can just heat these up right on the grill. Just going to toss it in just like that. Just kind of get why. a little. I thought you were going to cut that open for some reason. But I guess I'm going to cut it open after we kind of toast oh, it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is actually make a flavored um, mayonnaise. And so what I have here is actually you can use a low-fat mayonnaise or even non-fat or uh -huh. even Greek yogurt. If or you, you could make your own mayonnaise and you just forget can. all the, the low of anything and yes. let it be high and yummy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I mean, whatever whatever you know kind of floats your boat and what you enjoy, definitely use that. But we have just a mayonnaise, so we're going to make a little flavored mayonnaise. So we got. Just a few tablespoons right here. And again, this is so simple for you know, a small party, large party, and it only takes just a few minutes. Is this one of those recipes where if you make it in advance and then you kind of let all the ingredients just sit together that it would infuse more flavor into it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you make this the day before, uh -huh. it's, it's going to be more flavorful the next yeah. day. Absolutely. So we got a little bit of lemon zest, which is really important because that kind of brings out all the essential oils in mm -hmm. the lemon. Then we're just going to cut the lemon. And I love things really acidic and really lemony. And it just goes great for the summer. I wonder if you could, could you, like what other varieties? Because we're seeing you do this with kind of the, the mm -hmm. zesty lemon flavor palette. But right. what else could you substitute to change the flavor of this mayonnaise? Well, actually, you could probably use some of this uh, Queen Creek olive uh, oil. Oh, okay. And this is blood orange flavored. So but go can, kind of the more the orangey than exactly, the lemon. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You can use blood oranges. You can use uh, orange. Um, and the, the twist today is we're going to actually use some jalapenos, which ah. is kind of like the Arizona tradition. You're probably not going to find this in uh, Maine. So we're just going to kind of cut that in half. And then you just want to take out some of the seeds. And you can make this as spicy as you want. So I'm just going to slice it really, really thin. You know, just enough so your guests kind of um, get a little bit of spice, but it doesn't overpower. Okay, so you're going to even leave them big. And mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just kind of like a little... Just so you can kind of get that, uh, that crunchy feel from the jalapeno. All right. And then, of course, celery, because you absolutely need celery. I got some celery leaves right here. That might be good to kind of cool off the, absolutely. the jalapeno, too. So what I do for the, I never throw these out. I always want to keep these. Really? Yeah, and it, it makes a great salad. I always throw them out. <laughs> no, it actually makes like a great salad. And, you know, if, you know, a lot of times we garnish with parsley. Right. Just take these and garnish with uh, celery. Oh, that's a good idea. So I'm just going to basically chop this the same way. Now, out at Whole Foods, people that haven't had, um, maybe they don't have one in their area and they're not totally familiar with it, mm -hmm. your concept is, is essentially what? It's, you know, we're the largest natural and organic uh, grocery store in the world. And we have amazing products, our quality standards, you know, such as, you know, the shrimp. You know, we want so much out of our, our vendors and our producers, so we're always asking for, you know, the freshest fish, uh, the most high quality. Um, basically, they have to meet our standards so we can bring in their product. Okay. And that's why customers really love us and enjoy us, and they keep on coming back because they know exactly what they're getting well, I just in come their back product. You guys have good food there. <laughs> so now we're gonna. Oops. Now we're gonna throw in the we're, shrimp. We're gonna throw in the shrimp. So basically, Do take. You want me to turn this and see if it, so we can plate this. Yeah, all absolutely. Up? This way. Perfect. Okay. So you can just actually toss them. I have a plate right here, and we'll just toss it them. so fast because your your pan is super hot. Yeah. So I'm just going to kind of mix this together just like that. All right. Maybe just a few more shrimp. Toss that And here. then whatever's left over, you can make a cocktail out of. Absolutely. Oh, look at that, Nathan. <laughs> so we're basically I just going to take this. 
I'm going to cut that in half just like that, kind of slit through. You can add a little bit of shredded lettuce at the bottom. And then you're just going to kind of plate it just like that. That's about what it looked like in Maine. Yep. But they're not doing the jalapeno, no, so it's definitely a little change. Yeah, we got to have a little bit of the, the hot stuff in there. And what I love to do is I love to serve this, you know, with uh, potato chips. Uh-huh. So we can just kind of use that right here. We'll put that right there. Awesome. And then we will uh, let all of our viewer friends know that we have another salad recipe coming up. Um, this one calls for, uh, what is it, seared ahi tuna? Seared ahi tuna. Um, and fennel, arugula. It's a very quick, very healthy, summery, and springy dish. Okay, and then I want to talk about your fish. You got different kind of, a different concept on fish over there at Whole Foods. So um, stick around for that. Some great recipes. Now, you've heard of wine coolers, right? But you probably don't think much of them because, quite frankly, there's not that many good ones out there. But now we want you to think about wine cocktails. That's an entirely different story. So coming up, we're offering recipes for refreshing wine drinks. Thanks for watching Sonoran Living. We're back in a quick moment.